Hello friends and welcome back to Vintage Sport Shack and welcome back to another episode of Wing It Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about our sports cards really investments. I ran the numbers. You might not like what you're going to hear but as always stand up stretch out because away we go. All right guys I ran some numbers on uh, cost of uh, cards. Well, actually, I did uh, numbers from 1970 to 2023 and thought, hey, what would happen in 53 years if everything were the same? I took uh, housing numbers. I took uh, cost of cars. I took uh, prices of gold, S&P 500, price of college. And then I went back and got some cards. Um, went through some of my Beckett books, uh, did some cost analysis, went from 1970 to 1988. 87, 88, that's when that book was from. I'll show you what I used. 87 Beckett, 88 Beckett. Um, I went to college in 88, so I knew the price of college. Um, so I was able to take some numbers and kind of, uh, instead of making a joke out of it like I do every Monday and don't be stupid, I wanted to be serious. And uh, I know I told you I've been a consultant. I do appraisals. Um, I hate doing numbers, so this wasn't pleasant, but I'm gonna go through them with you. I got them here on, uh, this is how I do it. I was down here, the only paper I had was a napkin because I've been sick and blowing my nose. So I did it on a napkin but you get what you get but first i want to remind everybody of the contest ah we have the 2,000 subscribers we're pushed over 1500 getting to 1600 once we get 2000 giving away this box of 91 stadium club comment down below one to two thousand when we hit two thousand i'll pull the number and whoever wins gets closest gets this the december contest is for this Brooks Robinson autographed photo. I don't know what the value is this, but probably worth something. Someone can enjoy it, get it framed. It'll be a nice piece if you're a Robinson fan or just want to win it and sell it, whatever. I don't care. But that number is 1 to 200 down below. You can win this Brooks Robinson. My uncle got that autographed back in the 70s. That is 100% authentic, I promise. But comment down below. Then, we have the 12 days of Christmas. We have 11 days. Uh, 11 Lords of Leaping, I believe, is what it is today. Remind you of the 12 days of Christmas contest. We're pulling the contest winner on the 25th, Christmas. Um, I changed the rules a little bit. Told you I'd do it as I go. I wanted to be transparent about who wins. So, <coughs> excuse me. I believe two people wanted to get in the contest. A Michael Bruce 9197 there's our friend so I'm going to just write names down throw them in a bucket and draw a name on the 25th live or well, not live but it will be recorded um, and then a collector's dream I believe he wanted entered so instead of telling me why you want to go just say you want to be entered I'll make you a little thing we'll throw it in here and we'll draw on the 25th so that's the 12 days of Christmas contest. Everybody, I hope that you, uh, if you're close to Indy, I'll remind you what that contest is. It's a $200 package. All you have to do is get to Indy to the game on January 5th. The Atlantic Hawks play the Pacers at home. I'm going to pay for your tickets, your dinner, um, merchandise, and give you money for gas or whatever, however you get there. So hopefully... If you're close to Indy, within an hour or two, want to go to the game, want to hang out all day, have a good time, be in a video, um, hang out with me, just comment down below that you want in, and uh, when we meet, um, have a good time. So, that's that. Now to the numbers. This is going to shock a lot of you. I ran numbers for... Uh, Started in 1970 because that's when gold standard uh, was no longer 
the standard for our money. So, and that was the year I was born. So that's the greatest year ever, I, in my in my opinion. But 1970. I'm gonna go over some numbers in 1970. Uh, when I can, I'm gonna translate it to 1988, so I can refer that to sports cards because that's when I was real knowledgeable, late 80s, early 90s. And then explain to you, you know, some real investments. Um, first, let's start with your biggest expense. A home. A home in 1970 would have cost you $25,000. That's the average price of a home in 1970. Well, today in 2023, the average price of a home is $400,000. So you think, well, that don't sound like a lot. But if you take that same just uh, cost of living increase, uh, inflation increase over that 53 years and then apply that same inflation rate for 53 more years the average cost of a home is going to be 6.3 million dollars that's right 6.3 million dollars in 53 years is what the average home is going to cost <laughs> let's go to uh, college let's do college 1970 College average cost of college was $1,250. 1988, the average college cost was $4,500. 2023, the average cost of college for one year is $26,000. So you take that same inflation rate, and in 53 years, the average cost of one year of college will be $545,000. That's right. $545,000 for one year of college. Let's go to car. In 1970, the average price of a car was $2,580. 1988, the average price of a car was eight thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars in 2023 the average price of a car forty seven thousand nine hundred dollars 53 years from now guys eight hundred and ninety one thousand four hundred and sixty dollars that's right eight hundred ninety one thousand Four hundred sixty dollars in fifty-three years to buy the average priced vehicle. So you say, how's this have to do with cards? Well, I did the same thing with cards. I did it with if you prospect buy a card, whatever. Okay, you buy a average player for when it turns out to be good. I'm gonna go over those numbers. Okay, in 1988, if you would have bought a card of a good player, one that would have been good, let's say a, a Don Maddenley or someone like that, for $13, today, that card's worth $32.90. That's the inflation rate. Just inflation rate. Right? So, 53 years from now, if you buy Don Manley card for $32, which you can, 53 years from now, that card will be worth $82.10. And 53 years, mind you. So when they say all cards go to zero, refer back to that purchasing power of what a car will cost. What a house will cost. What college will cost. And now go back to your Don Maddenly card and tell me if that's a good investment. We'll go to a great. Tom Brady. You buy a card today. Tom Brady rookie. $329. Average price. 
in 53 years. This card will be worth 200 or 2,025 dollars. 53 years, guys. Only 2,025 dollars if you use the same inflation rate of the average great goat. The average goat, the, the same inflation rate. And when I say inflation rate, I mean goats. I mean the mazes. Take out the Mickey Man, but take the mazes and the, you know, those guys, the goats. That's the inflation rate. So, you can invest in that, and, and you know, and, and if you think that's good investment, go ahead. What I'm trying to say is I'm reminding you guys this is a hobby. So I'm going to give you some numbers on the S&P and gold. The S&P 500 in 1970, the average was $85. Today, the average of the S&P 500 is $45.85. If you take that same inflation rate, just inflation, 53 years from now, the S&P 500 average will be $246,756. That kind of keeps up with the house and the car and the college. Gold. 1970 gold was $35 an ounce. Beginning in 1970, it actually bounced up back up to about $80, $90 an ounce in the end of 1970 due to the transfer off of the dollar. But today... 2023, that gold cost $2,030 for an ounce of gold. So the projection, 53 years, 2076 gold should be worth $117,605 for an ounce of gold. Now that's an investment. S&P 500, gold, proven investment, guys. I mean, you can decide. I ran these numbers for you guys. It's not fake. It's sitting blank. I sat down and I ran these numbers because I wanted to be serious today. I wanted to let you know that sports cards are not investments. It's a hobby. You do it for the joy, the, the camaraderie, whatever you want to call it, for the friendships. You see these influencers fly into different card shows to see their friends for something to do make it a mini vacation turn it into whatever you want but get out there and enjoy the hobby because it's not a investment in no way shape or form i know a lot of you are not going to like what you heard but comment down below anyhow tell me what you think are sports cards investments as always guys Peace. Have a super great day. And why'd we come here? Keep dancing.